Hey everybody, good to have you on board. Um, before I go ahead and get started, we're going to do something really cool today. Um, before I get started, if you are watching live, go ahead and say hello. Don't be shy. Go ahead and drop your name in. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. If you are watching the replay, let me know that too. We are going to do a really quick but very cool game this morning. And so um, I need you to participate in it. So this is what I want you to do. Um, I'm going to go through a series of steps and I'm going to give you some instructions to follow. And then you're going to follow the instructions and then you're going to write in the comments uh, the results of what you get. It's not a quiz or anything, but um, I need you to write in the comments the results of what you're doing. Okay, so um, as you guys know, I am kind of like an architect, but for coaching businesses, right? Coaching systems. And so I want to play a little game with you guys today that kind of lets you into my mindset um, in terms of where I come from um, as I look at coaching businesses. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. If you're ready, I want you to type ready in the comments. Um, even if you're watching the replay, I want you to type ready in the comments. And then what I want you to do, I'm going to switch over to my iPad real quick. I'm going to put this image up on the screen. And what I want you to do is find these numbers. Now, I I uh, didn't make this particular exercise up. It was um, shared with me a long time ago. I, um, if you're watching this and it was you, I, I apologize in advance. It was such a long time ago, I just dug it out. Um, it was back when I was doing Franklin Covey facilitation a long, long, long time ago. Um, but it always stuck with me. And I thought, hmm, what a great opportunity to share it with all of you. And so... Um, I'm going to put this, this picture up on the screen. It's got a bunch of numbers on it. And all I want you to do is find the number on the screen, right? And kind of point to it. You don't have to put your fingerprints up on your screen if you don't want to. But I want you to physically kind of point to the number and then count from 1 to 54. So find the number 1, then find the number 2, and then find the number 3. And I want you to kind of put your finger like on it. Now, you might have to blow up your screen a little bit because I'm going to be on one side of the screen and this picture is going to be on the other. The other, and I can't really make the picture that much bigger. Um, but you should be able you should be able to see all the numbers, and I want you to find them and just point to them. Okay. All right. So I'm going to switch over to my iPad. I'm going to put the timer on. So you have um, one minute really to get this thing going, and I want you to see how many numbers you can find. Um, and count to from 1 to 54. And then I want you to type that number. Once the time's up, I want you to go ahead and type the number in the box, right? What you made it up to. Okay. So again, I'm going to flip over to my iPad. I'm going to turn the timer on. And all you have to do is count from 1 to 54, finding the numbers as you go along inside the picture here. Okay. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. All right. So here we go. Let me see if I can... Uh, Flip over, and I'm going to set this timer. It's going to go on for one minute. Okay, just one minute, and let's see how well you do. And there we go. So go ahead, find your numbers, start with one, and go all the way to 54, and let's see how well you do. I am going to actually use it so I don't have to flip over again. I'm going to start a timer on my phone so I don't have to take it away from you guys. Okay. All right, find all the numbers. There should be 54 numbers total. Let's see how far you can get. We have about 40 seconds left. I'm going to give you a little bit extra time. So we have 30 seconds left. Let's see how many you can get. We have 15 seconds left. Ten seconds left. And stop. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do now is I want you to tell me in the comments how many 
um, how many numbers you got to. What number did you get up to? Okay. Let's see if I can go over here and maybe see some of your comments. All right, how many did you get up to? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to actually um, do this whole thing again, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret and we'll see if we can make some improvements, right? Before we do, what I want you to do, again, even if you're watching the replay, what I want you to do is just write in the comments here, and this will help other people along as they go through it, uh, maybe watching the replay later. But what I would like you to do is tell me, um, you know, what was the struggles? Why didn't you get up to 54? Right, we can all count up to 54 and we had a little bit over 60 seconds to do it. Um, what were the struggles? Like, why didn't we get up to even 30? Right. There was distractions. There was me talking into the microphone. There were some numbers that just kind of screamed out to you and some numbers that were really small. There were, they were, uh, they were all jumbled and not necessarily in a particular order, right? There was a bunch of things that just kind of caused a problem, right? And so I'm going to let you in on a little secret now. We're going to do the whole thing over again, okay? So here's what I'm going to let you in on. All right, so what if I were to tell you that these, these numbers were kind of placed in a manner uh, where you could go from left to right, top to bottom, um, so you could start in this box. Let me see if I can write on this. And then this box, and then this box, and then this box, and then this box, and this box, this box, this box, this box. Find all your numbers and start back up here and do it all over again, right? What if I were to tell you that that is the secret, right? That they're laid out in these boxes. And if you know where the boxes are, then you can easily find the numbers and go to them. All right, so with that in mind, Okay, with that in mind, I'm gonna put it back on the screen. But with that in mind, I want you to go back through. We're gonna do a minute again, and I wanna see what number you get up to this time. Knowing where those lines are now and um, understanding the system that's behind it, okay? So I'm gonna reset this. And we are going to, let me get on my phone over here so I can check it over here without losing the screen. You ready and go. Let's see. All right, let's see how you do this time. And we have about 45 seconds to go. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. We have ten seconds to go. And stop. Okay, so what I want you to do now is put the number that you reached the second time around in the chat box. Let me know how you did. Now, my sneaking suspicion is that you did much better the second time around than the first. Right? There are still distractions. There are still bigger numbers and smaller numbers. There are still me kind of in your ear telling you how much time was left and all of that stuff, right? So there are still a bunch of, a bunch of distractions. But I'm sure that you got further. Now, why did you get further? It wasn't luck. It was because there was a structure. There was a system behind what you were doing. And once you knew the system, once you knew the structure, it made everything else easy, no matter what the distractions were, no matter what the low lying fruits were, no matter what the, um, you know, the, the things that called your attention first were. Um, because you were working within the system, it made everything else a whole lot easier. 
And so here's the point. Here's the takeaway from this exercise. The same is true for your business, right? That's a big difference between being a coach and having a coaching business. When you have a coaching business, everything's structured and, and you can take someone in who might not know everything and, and they can help help you work and help you achieve your goals. And your system can operate without you there because other people can step in and step up. Um, you, you get consistency, you know where things are, um, you know how to access things, um, you get a rhythm to your work, the distractions kind of fade away, all of those things when you start creating systems in your business. Okay, everything that happened while you were trying to count to one, from one to 54 the first time around is emblematic of what happens in business every single day, right? We get distracted. Right? The low-lying fruit is chirping in our ear, and, and so we go take care of that thinking we can come back. Um, some things are just really big, and we think we need to tackle them, so we mistake the, the, the urgent um, for the really important. And, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we build these systems that keep us on track and keeps, uh, keeps us consistent so we can produce predictable results. Okay, so I'd love to know the difference between the first number and the, and the second number. I'd love to know what you think of the exercise. And when it comes to your business, I would like to know where you struggle the most when it comes to building systems. I cannot wait to hear from you. Um, something a little bit fun to, to break up your Thursday um, or whenever you're watching this replay. Uh, but let me know what you think. Okay. All right, guys, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later.